Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I have another little project for you um, using these lovely little envelopes. Now I'm going to pop a link down below to show you how to make these. Um, they're really, really simple and they're so cute. Um, so I've made a little bunch of those um, and this is what we're going to make. Some little booklets, um, little dingle dangle booklets. Now I like these envelopes. So these are the ones we did before, which were the little open ones. Um, to pop something in it. Um, this one's I've got a little um, postcard in there but you can pop little letters, anything in there. And this one I thought would make little books um, on a little dingle dangle as well um, which are really really cute. So they're sort of like just like a mini version of the big ones that you can make. Um, this one is like a little Christmas one with a little bits of um, paper, just little bits of scrap paper and I think they look really cute. This one, I love this one with a little bit of rose trim on the front. Um, this is just made out of um, just some tea stain paper. And what I've done with this one, I've made some little cards to go inside. Um, that's one of the little tickets from their Collage Rose collection. Um, digital papers and it fits in there perfectly. This one I did make with the, um, this is the first one I made. And that was the one that I made with the punch. Um, the um, envelope punch um, but they are exactly the same to make when anything this one I've made with the actual folding no this one isn't as well this is the punch because you can see this has got the rounded bit here but I think they're really cute these are the ones that I made with the making the envelopes put here so I'm going to show you quickly how I did these now I've got a bunch here now all I've done I've made these out of the collage rose collection papers um, and all I did I had a couple I don't know what I've done with them now just the little postcard sizes um, of the papers that I have in there and you can fit you can cut out four little envelopes out of just one of those so all as I've done just take a couple whoopsie daisy um, and pop one inside the other like that so what you do make sure you've bent it down there you folded it down um, and then all you need to do is take pop a little bit of glue on one side of the envelopes like that and then just pop that inside just like that so it sits inside like that want to get it quite level as level as you can stick it down like that so you've got little open up like that and then this little flap you want to pop into another one so that will just fit in there like that so we shall pop some glue on the back of here just like that that one will stick inside that one that down so that's level like that and then we have one more which we shall pop this one inside just like that obviously you can pop as many as you like make it as big as you like but I think four little envelopes is is plenty for a little dingly dangly doesn't make it too heavy then and just stick that down just like that so you want to leave that for a minute and then you just open them up like that and you've got little pockets in there to pop little um, little bits of paper in there anything you like inside so that's how it's got and put that one very level but never mind okay so this bit here will fold over onto the front but first what I want to do, I want to pop the little bit of um, string on here or whatever you've got, trim or something, just to hang off with the bulb clip like that. So what I've got, I've got a piece of this or I've got white here. I might use a little bit of white actually. Just fold it in half and what you want to do is you want to just stick it in there like that. Pop it all the way to the bottom just stick it inside now to stick it in I used a bit of three in one just down here just like that and then we 
just pop that down there, fold that in like that, squash that down. Just going to stick this little bit down, which I forgot. Pop it all on there. Oops. Just squidge that down like that. Now I'm going to cut a little bit off the bottom here. So that's down to the neck. It's the bit that you just um, hang the bulb clip off. Like that. Obviously you don't have to put this on there if you don't want to. You can just fold that over and stick it down. And just have a little book to pop in a little pocket in one of your journals or something. But I quite like that like that. Now let's have a decorate. I've got a few bits of pieces here, like that. I'm going to pop a little bit of this on. This is like the little sort of like burlap um, ribbon that I've got. Just going to take little bits off so it sort of, oopsie daisy, looks a bit like that. I might pop a little bit of cheesecloth underneath. Let's have a look. Here we go. Just to give it that little extra shabby look. Wrinkle that up. Let's get my glue stick. Stick that down. Oops. Stick that on like that. Pop this on with a little bit of three and one because I think that will stick it down a little bit better just like that perfect now what I would like to do we pop a little bit of ribbon just down on the outside I think just like that so it looks like a little book should have really done that first Never mind, let's pop a little bit of glue down there. But again, because they're little tiny little booklets, you can use up all your little bits of scrap um, lace and ribbon. Let's chop that off like that. So how cute is that? Now I might even put one of those on the back, I think. Just along there probably put it on each page actually. Oops, come on out glue, there we go. Draw it down the back. Chop that off. So that looks pretty doesn't it? Very shabby. Now I did want one of my little rose Thing is on there. Let me go get it. There we go. Now I've got the bundle of this, so let me just cut some off. Put that there. And then I'm going to just stick that on like that. And I think that looks really, really pretty. Stick a little bit of glue on there. Oopsie daisy. Pop that on there, and then you've got this beautiful little dingly dangly booklet. Let's get a little bulb clip here. Oops. Pop that on there, and there we go. Little dingly dangly book. How cute is that? And then again, you've got little pockets here in there to pop your little bits of paper or whatever you like inside. Little words and phrases, or oh, they could go in there too couldn't they? But I think that looks lovely. I did try and put a little bit of seam binding through there but it's a little bit too thick which is here um, and you can't really cut it in half because it frays too much. But I could make a little bow on there too couldn't I? Or a little pink one. A little pink one might look quite cute. I'll pop a 
a little pink bow on there. Well, it's not quite a bow, it's one of those little little knots that I showed you how to make last time in the previous video. So there we go. Perfect. So there we go guys. Do you want me to show you quickly again how you put them together? I won't embellish it but I'll just pop them together. So you need four. It doesn't matter if it's got a hole in it because you will see um, it's hidden inside anyway. So take four little envelopes. Um, pop a little bit of glue. I haven't um, inked inside this one. Oops, wrong glue and wrong side. What am I doing? On the back. Pop the glue on the back of the envelope and then pop it inside like that. Okay. And then fold that over. And then you take your next one and you pop that inside there. So you want to ink the back of the envelope like that. And pop that inside there like that. Fold it down. So you've got little envelopes like that. And then the last one, you want to pop that inside. Just like that. Pop that in there and stick that down. Oops. Now again, you can just fold that over like that. You don't have to have a little dingly dangly hanging off it, which I think I might do. I think I'll just stick this one down. Just like that. And then that will be ready to go into a little pocket in a journal. Just like that. And I think they are so pretty, so simple to make. Um, so I hope you give it a go. I hope you made some little envelopes because um, I think they're really, really lovely. And again, you can just make them out of your stash because they're only, they're only tiny little bits of paper two inches by two inches. I'll pop the link down below just in case you have, you missed the video on how to make them. But again, I popped the holes in these ones so that you can make little dangly envelopes as well. So a couple of ideas for you to use with them. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you're all well and safe um, and I will see you next time. All right, guys, take care. Thank you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.